My name is Brittany. Um, I've been a travel nurse with Atlas uh, since December of 2020. I'm a registered nurse um, and I work in the endoscopy unit for Central Washington Hospital. This is my cat Sputnik. He turns two next month. Um, he's been traveling with me um, for, he went to Missouri with me and now he's in Washington with me. So um, whenever we travel, he sits in his crate. Um, and that's how he travels. So he is very adventurous. I decided to bring him on the road with me because I knew I would need a companion and I also get kind of lonely if I'm all by myself. Um, I don't really have a lot of family wherever I travel to, so um, having him definitely helps. You're kind of limited with housing because they only want, um, some don't uh, allow you to have pets, so um, and whenever you do finally find a place that allows pets, you have to go through a whole application process. Um, and then um, they also have to be like vaccinated and they have to be like well behaved. Luckily in my house in Missouri, the lady that I was staying with, she was really good. Um, she also had another cat, so she said as long as my cat gets along with hers that it would be fine and they were actually best friends for a little bit. So I would recommend doing Airbnbs because a lot of them allow pets and it's a lot um, easier than doing a hotel. Um, well the advantages would be your cat gets to see a lot of places they wouldn't normally see if you were just in, stuck in your hometown. Um, another advantage is you always have a friend and like a little buddy to travel with and do stuff with. Wow. He had an initial vet appointment before we moved to Missouri. Um, so before I even took the assignment, I made sure that his shots were updated. I made sure that I had a copy of his medical records, um, and that I had it on my phone. So just emailed. Um, and then I also uh requested that he uh have like sleepy medications for the road so i had all of that together before i took the assignment and it made it a lot easier because then i didn't have to rush into it i think one of my favorite memories with him was taking him um in our car rides we went through six states in three days and so I think one of the favorite things was I put him on my dash and he slept and he also looked out the window. I think he really enjoyed that experience too. Um, we've also been um, just like hiking around the forest uh, back in Missouri. We lived on like a piece of land. Uh, so I would take him um, either on his leash or as a backpack and we would walk around the forest and that was really fun. It's a, probably easier whenever you travel with the litter box to um, just put a little bit of litter um, and then whenever you get to your Airbnb or hotel just have a little bit of litter um, don't fill up the litter box entirely because then you don't want to travel with it and have that in your car so before you travel you can just dump the little litter out also, if you're going to try to do sedative medications, um, do a practice round before you drive um, and just make sure that they're supervised. So I think a week before we left to go to Washington, I started dosing him with like a few mils of the medication and that really helps because then I could uh, super, be super, have him supervised um, and I knew how it affected him and how he worked.